Hello everyone, my name is Anish Sharma and you are watching Kubernetes web series. If you are new to this channel and wish to learn Kubernetes from the scratch, then you may click on the i button at the top right hand side for the Kubernetes playlist. I have also added the Kubernetes playlist URL in the description. After this video, you can watch. Just for information, this PowerPoint document can be downloaded from my GitHub page. Besides this, subtitle for different languages such as English, French, Russian and German are available for this video. Today we are going to cover one interesting topic that is what is replication controller. First we will cover the theory part and our agenda are what is replication controller, understand the fields in YAML file, how to create YAML file for replication controller, how to create replication controller from YAML file, how to check replication controller, when to use replication controller and how to delete the replication controller. At the end, we will do the lab. Before jump into our first topic, what is replication controller? Let's understand why we need replication controller. We already covered pod topic. In pod, we need to create pod manually. This is the command that we may use. Inside the pod, we run containers. This pod is managing the container. If any pod goes down for any reason, we must create another pod manually. This is the first problem. Second problem would be, we should monitor these pods. Third problem is, let's suppose if we have one VM and we want to create three identical pods on it, then we must execute same command three times with different pod names. First command create the first pod, second command create the second pod and then third command will create the third pod. It means we need three YAML files. Again, monitoring of these pods are burden on us. Fourth problem is how to increase the number of pods if required. That is called scalability on multiple VMs. Last but not least, how to achieve load balancing between multiple identical pods and how to achieve reliability. If one pod goes down, so it should automatically create the pod by itself. So our first topic is what is replication controller? For all of these problems, Kubernetes come up with a solution called replication controller and this is our first topic. A replication controller ensures that a specific number of pod replicas are running at any one time. In short, we can say that if we create a pod through replication controller, and any pod goes down, then our replica controller will create it manually, sorry, automatically. Replication controller is a part of controller. I had already explained the functionality of controller. If you haven't watched this video, then you may click on the Kubernetes basic video. I already added the link in the description of this video. Now we understand why we need replication controller and what is it. Let's drill down our second topic that is understand the field in YAML file for replication controller. In a YAML file, we have four main parts, API version, kind, metadata and specs. In the API version, we mention which API version we are using. Most of the time, we take the reference from the Kubernetes.io website. In kind section, we specify what resources we are going to create whether it's replication controller, pod, deployment and other. In the metadata, we generally add the name of resources and some other useful information like labels of resources and namespaces. We will talk about labels and namespaces on some other videos. In specs, we added all the information such as replication controller, pod, container, everything. I downloaded the YAML file 
from communities.io website and created the replication controller. In this YAML file, we will create a replication controller and this replication controller will create three ports. So the name of this replication controller is Nginx. While giving the name, we must adhere the DNS subdomain that is contain no more than 253 characters contain only lowercase alphanumeric characters hyphen or dot start with alphanumeric character and with also alphanumeric character if you not follow this naming instructions you will definitely observe an error message replica word with three it means that replication controller will create three identical ports selector field is for replication controller this will instruct the replication controller to look for port whose label is app equal to nginx in layman language we can say that replication controller will select the ports with this labels only inside the template section under the metadata we will define labels this labels is for replication controller will create the port and set this label point to be noted here that both the values must be equal then only these ports will be selected by replication controller replication controller itself have labels that is called dot metadata dot labels this is for metadata dot label and this is for specs dot label so you can read like this specs dot selector and how you can read here specs template metadata and then label if you want to get the this value you can get it from the yaml file so you need to specify this type of format in this yaml file first label is for its own label if we not mention this value in the yaml file then it is equal to dot specs dot template dot metadata dot labels second label is for to instruct the replication controller to select the ports with this label in this yaml file we have defined to create three identical ports and set the label of these ports to app nginx this is what we have defined in the third time that replication controller will create the port and set this label here i hope now you understand the difference of all these labels and selectors now our third topic is how to create yaml file for replication controller we can create the yaml file by our own in the replication controller we use the port template let's take an example here what is the name of the replication controller is frontend how many identical ports this replication controller will create it's three now look at the port template all the values under port metadata will be moved to replication controller that's it now our replication controller yaml file is created so it says replica is 3 and selector is front end so this is for replication controller and this section is for port section and inside this port we have container we have this yaml file and we need to understand all these values so that we can troubleshoot the issue our fourth topic is create replication controller from yaml file it is very easy first i'm going to download the yaml file directly from the kubernetes.io website here i used the apply option in order to create the replication controller you may also use you can also use create option instead of apply no worries we can execute the command kubectl get replication controller the name of the replication controller is nginx this is what our controller manager will check 
if it observe one port less or more then it will create or delete the additional port current is 3 desired is 3 and we have 3 running and 3 is ready instead of replication controller we can use the short form rc so this will produce the same result so you can use rc instead of replication controller if you execute the command kubectl get ports all the ports are running and one can notice that replication controller gave a name of port by itself the naming convention its own replication controller name followed by hyphen and then five characters mixed with alphabet and numeric now we get to know how to create the replication controller next topic is how to find more information of replica controller here we can use kubectl command with describe option followed by replication controller slash name first line describe us the name of the replication controller then selector app equal to nginx replication controller will select the ports whose labels is app equal to nginx label of replication controller itself has a label right app equal to nginx how many replicas of port will be maintained by this replication controller in our case it is three when this replication controller will create a port it must set the label app equal to nginx port must be 80 in the last one can notice tail of ports successfully created and name of the ports and so on next topic is what happen if one port goes down so we can execute the command kubectl get port and here we have multiple ports running inside this replication controller let's delete one port with the help of command kubectl delete port nginx and we set it After that, when we execute this command again, kubectl get ports, we will observe one new port will be automatically created by RC. Next topic is how to upgrade the replication controller. Update from the YAML file. Just modify the YAML file and use apply option. That's it. I will cover this topic in the lab section. So I don't think there will be a theory for this point. From the command line, let's suppose if we want to upgrade the Nginx image from 1.14.1 to 1.14.2, then below command can be used kubectl set image replication controller front end Nginx. Here I use set with image option because we want to upgrade the image only, right? Then followed by resource type that is replication controller. So as you can see here that kubectl set image resource type is replication controller name of the rc is front end container name is nginx and new image name is this so you can see here that set set the image for replication controller name of the controller nginx container which container we want to upgrade this is the new image that we want to it we want for this content very straightforward and very easy so our next topic is how to delete the replication controller So kubectl delete replication controller followed by replication controller name. That's it. Kubectl will scale the replication controller to zero and wait for it to delete each port before deleting the replication controller itself. If one use REST API or client library, then first you need to scale down the port to zero and then delete the replication controller. How to verify if your replication replication controller is deleted and its port? So you can execute the command kubectl get rc. You will observe no resource found in default namespace. And if you execute the command kubectl get ports, you will not observe any port related to your rc. When to use replication controller? This is very important slide. So a replication controller ensure that a specific number of port replicas are running at any given time. We can upgrade the ports with the help of replication controller. The replication controller is forever constrained to this narrow responsibilities by itself will not 
perform any readiness or liveness props. I will cover this point, but yes, you can see that we cannot do more with replication controller. The replication controller is the original form of replication in Kubernetes. Nowadays, no one is using replication controller. Replication controller is deprecated and replaced by replica set. Nowadays, no one is using replication controller. However, in order to understand the deployment topic, it is worth to learn what is replication controller. Besides this, in the interview, people are generally asking this topic. So let's move to lab section. Let's create one file here. rc.1.yaml and after that I'm using the content what I had showed you in the, my theory part. Here the name of this replication controller is frontend label is tier frontend. Let me create this kubectl before that let me clear the screen kubectl create minus f rc1.yaml file kubectl get pods as you can see here that my pod is running front end the name is rc name and then followed by five character if i execute this command kubectl describe rc front end i can see here that namespace is default name is front end selector label replica s3 running s3 and desired s3 pod template is this successfully created Pod created, pod name are these. Let me clear the window here. Now let's suppose if I want to upgrade my replica controller. So before there are two ways. The first one is rc.1 open the rc.yaml file. Let's suppose if I want to upgrade this image from one to two. Save and exit. kubectl apply minus f rc1.yaml file. It gives me some warning. You can ignore it for the moment. And kubectl get pod. Let's log in into one pod here. kubectl exit minus it frontend f hyphen hyphen command env and then grab nginx version. As of now, it is says that it is 1.14.1 .1. and if I delete this pod, kubectl delete pod and then pod name. Again, if I use kubectl get pod, I can observe that this new pod is created. NT, this PC and this NT is already there and the name is difference is this. So this is the new port that is created by RC. Execute this command again. Control W, Shift Insert and the, I can see this 14.2. Now the second way how we can upgrade this RC with the help of command line. So let me execute roll back this one to one. As you can see here that image is updated. So now as you can see here that one new pod is created here that is x8 vb1 let me check the version kubectl execute exit minus it and then port name hyphen hyphen env the command i want to execute inside nginx version Now, as you can see here that it is fallback to 14.1. This is how we can upgrade the replication controller. Okay, thank you very much. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.